On what is trending today? There is a, a widening rift between the president and his and uh, ODM leader Raila Odinga. This is just after the faltering uh, bid for his AUC uh, chairmanship. And now the ODM now demands that uh, they give him more slots in the government, especially now the, with the claim that now they help in stabilizing the government. They also helped in impeaching the deputy president, Rigadi Gachagwa. So in an event that they, they succeed in, a, in a, the court process uh, is, uh, is concluded and now the deputy president is impeached, the ODM now is demanding for more positions in the government that may be the, the CS interior and the CS transport to be given to the ODM party leader, as some people might have thought in that particular way. But now this has been met by a total rejection from the president that uh, whatever he had given the ODM people or the ODM uh, party is enough for them for now. Another thing that is trending again is um, the Kiambu senator, uh, Karungu Nangwa, has just proposed today that uh, the presidential term limits, the governor, the MCs, the members of the parliament, the elected leaders to be reduced to four years. He is arguing that now when we have these four years, it is going to give the electorate more time or uh, to be get to get involved in the electioning uh, election affairs to keep their leaders on check and also they are going to help in increasing the performance of their leaders because the leaders will now see the four four years time span is uh, is quite little and now they need to work for their people for them to be re-elected once again so uh, unlike now the the proposal or uh, the proposal by non senator Samson Chirage that is already in parliament to increase the presidential term limit uh, the governors, the members, the senators, members of parliament, the MCAs, the, 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 the term uh, to be increased to seven years. We understand that the matter is in Senate and uh, the public participation is taking place up to this Friday. So members of the public are, re are requested to give their opinion on increasing the presidential term limit. So Samson Terarge, the Nandi senator, is the one who has proposed the, uh, the term limits for elected leaders to be increased from five years to seven years. And like now, the campus senator, um, Ndangwa, who has now proposed again today that the elected leaders should be elected for a span of four years so that electorates can be given more time to have their leaders. You can listen to what he said here. That promote transparency and limit the entrenchment of political power. This proposal disregards those struggles and <coughs> aspirations. This amendment may serve as a diversion from pressing national issues such as economic challenges and governance failures tracking from meaningful discourse on solutions that truly benefit our citizens. Now, with that, I have also proposed, after opposing the seven-year term, I have now proposed a different amendment to that uh, issue. And what is my amendment? I'm proposing a four-year term limit. Four years, yes. Therefore, I'm moving an amendment that proposes a four-year term limit for the president, members of parliament, senators, governors, and members of council assemblies. Why four years? Because it enhances accountability, encourages political participation, it gives new leadership opportunities, it gives it provides prevention of power consolidation and of course adaptability in governance. It strengthens 
the democratic norms, a four-year term empowers citizens to hold their leaders accountable more frequently. Voters deserve the right to evaluate their representatives and make necessary changes based on performance. Encourage meant of political participation. Shorter terms can invigorate public interest in politics. When citizens know they can influence leadership decisions every four years, mm -hmm. they are more likely to engage. Deputy President designated Professor Kithure Kindiki has again failed to appear before the Senate Committee to answer questions pertaining the Interior Ministry. So now this was the argument. So Kithure Kindiki failed to appear the, uh, before the designated, designated committee, or rather the committee in Senate, because he there was a controversy on which post or position does he hold. Is he the deputy president or is he the cabinet secretary for interior? So he has again failed to appear before the Senate to answer questions pertaining the ministry of interior because of the position or what the country is in. We understand that now the, he was approved by the National Assembly as a, a deputy president after the impeachment of the Rigadi Gachagua by the Senate. So what is holding Professor Kithure Kindiki from occupying the office is because he has not been sworn in because of the cases which are in court that is pertaining the impeachment of the Deputy President Degadi Gachagwa. On matters concerning the impeachment of the Deputy President, today again the three judge bench gave out their ruling and uh, they were arguing that a court, the, the, the Deputy Chief Justice Mwilu acted accordingly uh, because in the Constitution Article 165, it states that the Chief Justice to assign uh, a bench. And uh, they were trying to argue, argue that the Constitution of the Three Judge Bench it is a constitutional mandate, and uh, either the Chief Justice or the Deputy Chief Justice can handle that. Another thing we are finding that the activist uh, Francis Gaito he has been an online sensation. We've seen him, especially those of us who are in, on the X platform. Francis Gaito was arrested last night at his uh, home in Westland. And the reason of his arrest has not yet been known. I don't know if his uh, whereabouts uh, are yet clear, but he was arrested last night on an unclear circumstance, circumstances. The reason for his arrest has not yet uh, been known. Lastly, on what is trending, we are finding that the Wells Fargo's, the Wells Fargo's uh, HR, that is uh, Willis Ayero, who went missing on Friday 18th of October, has been found dead in a, a village Nyamininia in Sayre County. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.